the Rice Value Chain Development Project funded by the Islamic Development Bank is aimed at driving economic development across Africa with nations such as the Gambia benefiting from a collective support package of $29.8 million starting in May 2020. The project is anchored on developing rice fields with necessary infrastructure to boost national production capacity. As part of efforts to intensify rice production, the Rice Value Change Transformation Project procured seven tractors for beneficiary communities involved in rice production. The tractors are meant to be shared among district farm cooperatives in the intervention areas covering the Central River Region South, Central River Region North, and the Upper River Region. The project handed the tractors to the Deputy Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Agriculture, Fatou Jametoure, who underscored the government's drive to expand economic advancement through rice production. The tractors came with the required implements such as this harrows, this plow, and a five metric ton trailer. This initiative is one of the many supports we have in plan for our rice producers to enhance production and productivity. It is my singular honor as the minister of this ministry to reiterate the importance of this laudable initiative that are directly contributing to attaining the objectives set in our NDP. This support by RRV CDP will go a long way in addressing one of the sector's key challenges, which is land preparation. The project director, Fafanding Fateja, described the ceremony as a wonderful gesture, stating the project's impact since its inception. Now, the, this is RRV CDP, uh, Regional Rice Valley Development Projects, has four components. Component one is production and productivity. Production two, I mean, the component two, agribusiness. Um, um, component three is policy and institutional environment. And component four is project management. Now, the intentions and the blueprints of the projects is to provide seven tractors to our farmers. One has already been provided to our partners. It's supposed to be eight, but seven to our partners. One has already been provided to the National State Secretariat, and National State Secretariat also benefited a lot from this. Their Sapo field, I mean Sapo warehouse, has been renovated to a state-of-art warehouse, and 30 hectare land development is also ongoing for seed multiplication at Sapo also, at, at Hygia, and also agrochemical, tracers, weeders, and uh, even below us, are uh, all procured for, uh, for, for um, um, our National State Secretarial, and they've already been handed over to them by the, the, the Honorable Minister. Pata Majame, the Deputy Director of the Agriculture Engineering Department, highlighted the need to train beneficiaries on proper maintenance and management of the tractors. After you brought a new tractor, you have to always train the operators. So after the transportation, the training, five, a one-week training will follow where we will train operators which are selected, identified by the project through, um, from the various groups or the cooperatives that they are supporting. So they will each select two operators for the tractors and the power tillers. So we will have a one-week training at SAPO where we are going to train the operators on the basic operations of the tractor, the management, uh, the basic repairs and maintenance that the operators can carry out. Okay, but the general maintenance has to be carried out by our mechanics. But it's also important to teach the operators at least some of the basic maintenances and repairs that they can carry as operators. The tractors are expected to raise rice production capacity and ease farmers' challenges in manufacturing and transportation of rice production. The Deputy Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Agriculture expressed appreciation to the donors hailing the project for consistently supporting her ministry's efforts to amplify rice production. Janket Ture, GRTS.